Hello to this new ComfyUI tutorial. As the last part for the Flux tool series, I want to show you how you use the Flux tools control net functions. I will create a simple control net workflow based on a standard Flux workflow. And I will show you how you use the Flux Kenny and the Flux Death model. There are LoRa versions of those models, which can be combined with a normal Death model, for example, to create similar results. So the LoRa is much smaller, whereas the complete Death and Kenny models are about 20 gigabytes. If you already downloaded the Flux Dev model, you might be good to go with only loading the LoRa's. Okay, so I will start with a standard Flux workflow and then integrate the control net functionality. Okay, so Let's start with the special Death and Kenny models, which are provided by the Black Forest Labs. I will link them in the description below so you can download. Be wary, they are quite big, so maybe the LoRa solution is easier for you because they are only about one or two gigabytes, whereas the non LoRa versions are about 20 gigabytes. So this is a quite standard Flux workflow. The most important part is the instruct pix to pix conditioning node. So double click on the background and choose this node. We then can connect the positive prompt and the negative prompt and the VAE and connect it to the sampler latent as well. So we don't need the empty latent anymore, but we have to load our image, which we want to use as a control net. So load image. Let's choose this, um, this image of a girl we used or we created in the last tutorial. And now it depends on which model you want to use, how we will go on. So. I'm starting with the Kenny model. For the Kenny model, we have to transfer our image into a line art image. So for this, we simply use the Kenny node, which is standard part of the core. And you want to have a look how it comes out. We need a preview image, and then we can fill this into the pixels port. Okay, so for the Kenny model, we need the Kenny note. Let's give this a try with a simple prompt. Woman standing in street in New York. So you see already our control net is quite dark. Let's see what Flux makes out of it. Okay, seems like this little line information is enough for Flux. Let's adjust the settings a little bit. So you have to play around with the Kenny values. It's depending on what image you have at the source and what you want to achieve. For example, in this case, I ended up with 0 0.10 and 0 0.25. It really depends which image you are using at the source. Let's give it another go. I really like the results. You see in the background, we have this line as well, and the person is quite on point. So let's switch this model to the death model. Maybe uh, to explain a little bit more the kind of models. The Kenny model is specialized on a line art type control net, and the death model is optimized for death maps. So in this case, I choose this shark death map. You can find this on Wiki Commons if you need death map to experiment with. I will link it in the description below. And for the death map, since this is already a death map and we don't need to transfer it in some, into something like with the line art, we can bypass the Kenny node. When we choose the model up here, use the map here, we should be good to go. Let's change the prompt to shark. We will generate a shark which should look like this death map. And there you go. So maybe some more infos on the death map. The white parts of the image tell Flux which parts are nearer to the camera and the dark areas are 
the areas which are far in the distance away from the camera. Okay, so let's now switch this workflow to use the LoRa, the Kenny and the Death LoRa. So let's load the LoRa loader model only. We have to pipe the model in there and then pipe the LoRa into our case sampler. We have to choose our DevLora and that should be already it. So let's give this a try. That should give us more or less similar results, but with a LoRa stop. We also have to switch this Dev model to back to the normal Dev model. <laughs> the similarity of Dev and Dev is really confusing, but I think you get the point. So for the LoRa, we need a normal standard Dev model. Let's give it a try. So this should give us a similar shark image like the one we got before. And there you go. It's also taking the death map. The image looks different, but you get quite similar result. Let's switch the LoRa to Kenny. And for this, we need again an image we want to use as a control net. And we also need to use the Kenny node to transform our image into line art. Let's adjust the prompt. Girl standing in a street scene, for example, and drawn by a child. Let's try this one and give it a go. So here we go. This works quite well. Let's do another one and see if what it gives us next. You see where this is going. So the control nets are working quite well for me. That's it for now. I will link all the models and LoRa's in the description below. There are no custom nodes needed. Be sure to update your ComfyUI to a quite recent version. In the next videos, I will work with some more video models. Be sure to subscribe. This workflow will also be uploaded on my Patreon. So if you get a base member, you have access to this workflow and many other workflows. Be sure to check out the Patreon page. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.